hello to everyone okay so I want to make some good sausage gravy okay um, one thing you want to stockpile if you're smart is good wheat flour why well because if we start getting uh, food storages First of all, if there is any good wheat flour, it's going to be very expensive. But there is another bad possibility, and that bad possibility is not going to be able to get your hands on it. That it's going to be bought up. So um, I would suggest go with the good stuff. And then treat this stuff like gold, because it very well could be. And, you know, I see a lot of the prepper channels saying, stockpile, stockpile now. Yeah, I think that is really good advice. So I want to brown my drippings. And now they're saying, you know, that possible Ebola uh, outbreaks. So what you want to do in that case is you want to limit your exposure uh, to people possibly infected. So what you want to do is you want to, you don't want to just discriminately be going into places where you could come in contact with infected people. I think one of the most dangerous things is food handlers. I'm making some scrambled eggs over here. So what I do is I have some uh, milk, you know, the shelf-stable milk, and I want to use this stuff up. I want to use up all the food in my refrigerator. And so, okay, so you want to uh, limit the exposure to uh, places where people could be uh, infected with various diseases, respiratory diseases. I noticed uh, last week I saw a lot of cases, and this is unappetizing, but like yellow snot, uh, and, and adults too. And like, I thought, man, you know, don't you think you might want to be uh, blowing your nose? And I don't want to tell you guys where I saw it either, so I won't. But let's just say uh, we might want to limit our, see how easy this is? limit our uh, exposure to eating out. So, okay, let's say uh, maybe uh, there's gonna be a food store shortage. They're saying uh, towards the end of the year, but I'm saying uh, I already see it. The cost of gas is higher. So you just wanna cook this for a few minutes to flavor it up. And so one of the best things you can possibly do is uh, one of the followers uh, made mention that they didn't run out of food anymore when they started um, being very careful with all their food and eating all their leftovers. Now this is a good thing to stockpile. All this is is Rotel tomatoes. Thank you, TJ Prepper. And uh, it's really tasty on uh, eggs. And it gives you a little vitamin C. And then I have some tasty sausages. I bought these at Dollar Tree. They're hot. Okay, so 50 cents worth of sausages. And I have two leftover uh, cornbread muffins from last night. That's why I wanted to make the gravy. And then I want to have some peppermint tea. Okay, I get the peppermint tea at uh, Dollar Tree, and uh, it's herbal. And I just heated my water in a pan tonight. I don't know why. I don't know what my problem was. <laughs> Look at my yummy gravy. Uh, you want to stockpile milk. And I hope everyone is doing okay. Anyway, um, 
I saw one of my neighbors had the same kind of runny nose. I mean, when you when the snot is yellow, that is bad. You know, if someone's got a lot of yellow snot and they say it's allergies, you say to yourself, da, 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 da. okay, I got to go now. You definitely don't want to be eating in places where you see that. So what you want to do is you want to limit your uh, trips to uh, places where, um, you know, you might be closed in with people and uh, exposed to stuff. Um, I um, fried my sausage in black pepper, a little um, crushed red pepper, and salt. And then I also made uh, two cups of powdered milk. I like this one. And I really kind of needed to have uh, eggs tonight because I'm using the last... Notice this one egg cracked. I keep my refrigerator really cold. so I And this was cracked too. I only have two eggs left. But that's good because I'm eating all my eggs. So another thing is if you limit your um, trips to the store, you know, like, it is nothing for me to blow into the store and spend 10 or $20 a day. So one of the things that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be limiting all my trips to the store. And I will show you guys what I do when I do it. You know, back in the day, like my grandmother, she would pile everything. She had like a pantry in the back room, you know. They came straight from Switzerland, and you know, there's reasons they didn't get the bubonic plague. For one thing, they were separatists. They weren't exposed to a lot of stuff because they didn't let themselves be around people uh, that much. For one thing, they were busy you know, uh, working on their farm. So limit your exposure to crowded places. Buy only basic food. You know, um, uh, one of the followers, and it was a good comment too, it was on that last video I made on the, um, you guys should read the comments. It was on the video about the, um, my garden. My garden will pan out, I will show you as I go along. I will show you my dismal failures as well. Buy only basic food. You know, when my grandmother had that food and her seeds in the back, back pantry thing, you know, in the old German way, there is no crazy food. Do away with the crazy food. Another thing is if you have food that you can kind of like share with people who are um, kind of like uh, broke, you know, like street people, I'm sure you're going to get some blessings for doing that. Another thing is, if, if it comes down to something really bad, and you're going to need an intervention from God to survive, you're basically going to need all the blessings you get, you can get. Like, you know, maybe that, um, maybe that person today that you helped today, is the very same person that's going to save your bacon in the future. You just don't know. This stuff is good. Not only that, a lot of us have food that we can we can afford to give some away now. Uh, you know, I hear a lot of on these preppers, don't come knocking at my door, you know, if... Uh, if things get really bad, don't come knocking at my door. I don't think that's the way you're going to want to be going. I think what you're going to want to do is, and, and starting right now, is take it one day at a time. Say, okay, uh, today um, I'm going to stay out of crowds as much as I can and just get into that habit. You know, don't senselessly expose yourself to respiratory infections. If you see uh, signs of some kind of thing like the nasty, and I mean, these were adults too, working in food handling them, so disgusting. Move out of those areas immediately. 
uh, limit your trips to the store and buy only basic food and uh, you know just I think the thing is do what your people did back in the day you know that's what I'm doing I'm doing what my grandmother did I know what she did she piled that back room full of flour sugar yeast her freezer was full of meat she made the bread she made the jam she did can i i'm gonna try to do it uh i'm watching canning on tj prepper and one of the followers said uh she has been canning for 40 years and i wanted to look and see if she had a channel because i i, I didn't get a chance and i lost it so you know maybe try to learn how to can definitely try to figure out how to grow yourself some food stockpile some rice and beans you know just in case and uh, just take it one day at a time say okay uh, today I'm gonna do everything I can to ensure my uh, survival today and in the future and then you start approaching every day that way it, it's going to have uh, a profound effect I'm not one of these um, people okay live very very badly uh, you know to prepare for the future because if the future does turn out uh, to be really really crappy you'll have plenty of time to live crappy <laughs> live as best you can but you know be smart okay so this is a cheap little meal and I'm not going to be suffering okay you guys God bless you all